Comparing and ordering numbers with... Do you all recognize this sign? This is the equal sign. This lets us know that values on its left are equal to values on its right. But sometimes we see these other symbols where it looks like somebody sat on one side of the equal sign. Well, that means that the stuff on the left is no longer equal to the stuff on the right, that one of the values is greater than the other value, and one is less than the other value. So if you see a statement that looks like this, you can say that 3 is greater than 2, or 2 is less than 3. So let's try one together. Look at these beautiful numbers. How do we compare these? Well, we want to compare using place value. Maybe you'd like to look at your place value lined up. Ah, so pretty. We start with the leftmost place value. In this case, it's the 10,000s. They're equal, so we just move to the next place value, which is the 1,000s. They're equal, so we just move to the next place value, which is the 100s. Not equal. The 5 is greater than the 4. So this number is larger than the other number, and we can put our symbol in like this. Okay, let's try this example. We have three numbers. We can compare these also. We just start with the leftmost place value, which is a 2. It's the same, so we move to the thousands. They're fours, they're the same, so we move to the hundreds, and here's where we see a difference. Now we just compare the 7, the 5, and the 3. The 7 is largest, so it's greater than both of the other two numbers, and we could write a statement like this. We could also write a statement like this. And we could also write a statement like this. So many options, it's so exciting. Why don't you go try a few of those exciting problems and I'll meet you back here.